Hello and thank you for watching this ag forecast for the southern U.S. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with the Nutrient Ag Solutions. We've got a big cold front cutting across the eastern two-thirds of the country right now, bringing in temperatures in the 40s and 50s to the south, in the 40s across the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas, mid-50s as you make your way into parts of northern Alabama. We've got 70s still across the southeast, Florida, up the coast here into the Carolinas, but we'll see those temperatures be coming down as we head through the day today as well. As we look at the satellite picture, you can see the cold front, this sharp line in the, uh, the clouds here, and then clear air behind that. We'll have sunny skies as the sun comes up across Texas and Oklahoma into Arkansas, Louisiana, and then western portions of Mississippi. And we'll see those skies clearing from west to east as we head through the remainder of the day as well. A few showers to be found with that cold front as well, making their way from southern Mississippi into central and northern portions of Alabama, northern Georgia. Eventually, some of that shower and storm activity will be making its way across the Carolinas as well. Now, the last 72 hours of precipitation has been hit or miss, dry across the panhandles, but some corridors of showers, just scattered showers, broken line of those making their way across the south. So a few folks picking up several tenths of an inch up to an inch of rain here and then others being largely missed by the rain activity as it makes its way through the region. Not terrible news, of course, as we could use some drying, uh, some time to dry out, and we'll get some additional time here as we look at the forecast for the next week. I've got temperature anomalies on the left, total precipitation accumulation on the right, and again, we're headed for a cool and dry week across uh, really the whole midsection of the country, from the Corn Belt down into the south, not looking at much in the way of organized precipitation between now and the weekend, and we'll be keeping these cooler temperatures in the region. So there's kind of your quick spot forecast for the week, cool and dry across the south after we get this cold front and its showers that are associated with it out of here. You'll have to apologize and excuse the cricket that's chirping somewhere off to the right of me. Uh, now, what's driving this pattern is a, a bunched up, a very amplified and, and rather stuck jet stream. This is kind of what we're going to be dealing with as we head through the next five to ten days, if not a little bit deeper into the first part of October. It's a pattern that's bunched up and, and, and dominated by this trough in the Gulf of Alaska, the Aleutian Islands, really. And then we've got a trough coming up through British Columbia, the Pacific Northwest, and the Western U.S. And then this big trough digging in across the midsection of the country from the Great Lakes, uh, down into the uh, the eastern Corn Belt. And so what this does is sets us up with reinforcing shots of cool air out of Canada, not only cool, but dry air coming out of Canada. That's going to allow heat to return, fire weather risks across the western U.S. But again, this is a pattern that uh, is not going to be tapping into the Gulf. We'll have that close proximity here, of course, uh, versus further north across the Midwest. But again, we're just not really getting that return flow off of the Gulf until we get a system that makes its way in here uh, again, toward the weekend, that could bring some more moisture uh, back inland. But as we just look at the temperature forecast, I'm going to hit play on the temperature anomaly forecast as we head through the next seven days. And you can see the reinforcing shots just kind of reloading across the Canadian prairie into the Corn Belt and then dropping down into the southeast. So cooler temperatures, a cooler bias going to be holding on as we head into the, uh, the end of the week. Again, cooler air, not only cool, but dry air coming out of the prairie. This is our source region here as we just continue to ride out this pattern, the ridge out west, the trough digging in across the midsection of the country. It's not until we get to the end of the loop there. I'll pause it and show you what I'm talking about. Here's our, our front right now making its way across the region, taking all of the deep moisture and uh, squeegeeing it across the gulf. We'll see a reinforcing shot of cool, dry air as we head into the late part of the week. It arrives here in the southeast as we get into Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, really late Saturday into Sunday and Monday, this is where we get that little plume of moisture. You see it right here ahead of a system that drops out of the northern plains. This could bring some more organized rainfall to the region. Again, not looking at anything soaking. This is not on the level that Sally or Beta or you know an otherwise stuck tropical system would bring. This is just another opportunity for a big front to sweep through, bringing some showers to the area. It could be blustery at times across northern areas here as we get some of these fronts sweeping through, but really the windier conditions will be found off to the north across the Corn Belt, uh, just potentially seeing those northwest winds gusting maybe 15 to 20 miles per hour as we head into late Thursday and Friday. Now we'll wrap it up here with the precipitation forecast. Again, I told you not much to talk about as we head through the next five days at least. We'll see this front that's making its way through the southeast right now continue to keep showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder in the forecast across Florida, Georgia, and into the Carolinas as we head through the day today and early tonight. 
The front sweeps through, though, by morning tomorrow. We'll have sunny skies returning to the south, drier conditions, cooler conditions, but precipitation now going to be remaining out of the area uh, over the next five days or so until we get again into the end of the weekend and early next week. Maybe some thunderstorms across south Florida as we head through the day Thursday and Friday. Here comes our next system, though, digging in out of the northern plains. Can't see it in white there. We'll draw it in black. Uh, and then bringing the chance for some showers here as we get into, let me go ahead and jump back and we'll we'll finish this loop. I'll show you the system. I didn't mean to click off of here. There it is, digging in Saturday across the, uh, the central plains into the Midwest and then starting to bring some of that moisture down into Oklahoma and Arkansas and then potentially along the front as it makes its way through here Sunday into Monday. So total accumulated precipitation. This is what we've got here as the frontal boundary makes its way out over the next 24 hours. Again, some heavy precipitation possible in corridors as you make, the, uh, make your way from Florida up the coast there into the Carolinas and then on into the Northeast region. That's going to be it, though, as we head through the next few days. We're watching uh, an organized, uh, disorganized, I'm sorry, tropical system here down in the Caribbean that is not at this point expected to intensify uh, into a tropical storm or anything really organized, and that is per the uh, the latest information from the National Hurricane Center. But uh, some moisture perhaps making its way through the, uh, the the peninsula of Florida, South Florida, as we head through the later part of the week. But otherwise, we're waiting on that potential frontal boundary with some scattered showers. That is not a slam dunk look, and that is not one that makes me concerned about heavy soaking rains in any widespread fashion. Just uh, simply put, our next chance for organized rainfall across the south, and that is again in the October 4th and 5th time frame. So we'll finish then with your highs. Very chilly as we head through the uh, the next couple of days, chilly by uh, the south standards. Of course, uh, we're about 15 degrees cooler off to the north here in the state of Illinois. Mid-70s for most of you for the day tomorrow. Warmer in the panhandles will be a little bit uh, closer to the 80s and 90s there in advance of that next approaching cold front. So the pain handles you cool back down for the day on Thursday. And then again, a reinforcing shot of this cool air as we head into the weekend. Temperatures topping out only in the 60s and 70s, unless you head all the way to West Texas. Have a great day. We'll have our long range US weather analysis for you tomorrow afternoon. The ag forecast again on Thursday morning. Then I'll be back to talk to you about the South on Friday.